Hi, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do a very interesting reading for you. Um, what we're going to do in this reading is we're going to talk about love, but we're going to kind of do a deep dive into love and relationship. We're going to ask the question of what was Aquarius' past like in love and where are they presently? Where or what can Aquarius expect in the near future? So it's going to be kind of a, a lengthy reading. So um, if you don't like long readings, there's like three... Um, three uh, circles in the, maybe the right hand corner of your screen you can click those circles and then uh, you can go to speed and you can speed this video up right so you could watch the video on uh, two times as, as fast so whatever you know um, just a little uh, tidbit there so let's get into it Aquarius um, thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear concise message from you Aquarius keep in mind the new moon is today take advantage of this new moon energy to usher in newness um, of course new money uh, abundance of love, joy, peace, serenity, just prosperity altogether. All things new and great. If you want to get in on that new moon manifestation, you can make a contribution to the new moon money jar of any denomination, whatever you want to donate uh, via PayPal, Cash App. Um, the links are in the description box. Take advantage of this energy, guys. The new moons are great to manifest newness. All right. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to look at the past, uh, past love situation for Aquarius. What was going on in Aquarius past in terms of love? What was going on in Aquarius? Okay. Um, this one to show its face. Two of Cups. Okay. So maybe you felt like you were in a relationship that was um, mutually beneficial. There's a lot of chemistry here. There could even been, you know, a platonic element to this connection. Like, yes, we're lovers and we like each other romantically, but we also have a friendship. It's a bond. It's a vibe here. Um, you and this person could have been dating each other exclusively, or it, it appeared that you both were seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship. It could have also been that you reconciled in the past. So that means you had broken up before. Maybe this was an on and off again type of connection here. You could be dealing with a Cancer uh, or Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anyone here. Um, what else with the two of cups? It was like you were you were allowing the love that was flowing to you. You were, you were allowing it, you know, in in your space, in your heart space, and maybe the other person was too. What else can we tell? Okay, um, yeah, Ace of Wands. So it was like I don't know something about this relationship was a challenge, but you and the person you were up for the challenge. The challenge could be that maybe you both were just going two different wavelengths. Maybe you're you know this is somebody you would have never dated before. Um, you made concession for this person. Uh, maybe they dated a lot of people. Maybe they were really. Uh, handsome or um, beautiful uh, and, and they had a lot of different suitors but you were up for the challenge this person was up for the challenge they could have felt the same way about you but there was some type of challenging energy um, in the beginning initially you know and again for those of you who were giving uh, someone a chance again maybe reconciling uh, again you knew that it was going to be a challenge to stay in the energy of reconciling and moving forward um, you put a lot of energy, effort, time into this. Uh, the sex could have been phenomenal uh, between the two of you. The chemistry, again, is there, was there. You, in the past, you, you decided to do something, to, to put a lot of uh, time, a lot of devotion, a lot of uh, passion behind this, okay? What else happened in the past, in the past love? The Ten of Cups. Okay, so this could have been a situation where, uh, again, we got, like, uh, reconciling, forgiveness, bygones, letting bygones be bygones, or just a high level of chemistry, it working out. And then we have the Ten of Cups, also, which can talk about truths. You know, calling a truce, needing to call a truce here. Um, so maybe there was, you know, some bad blood between you and your particular person, and then you guys came back together. And then for some of you, this seems like it was a very um, fun, maybe whirlwind type of romance connection that kind of fizzled out. It didn't progress. And it was like a... a, a there's a large energy of falsehood, of it not being real, of it not being realized. Like, the emotions and the, the physicality of the relationship was there, but the death you know, you going deep, you um, being vulnerable, this person being vulnerable with you, maybe um, you guys showing progress or uh, uh, moving the relationship forward. It just didn't happen. You know, maybe somebody, you or the other person wanted to keep it on the surface level. Um, maybe you invited this person into your, your heart space, your family, but maybe there was a locked door or closed door in terms of the other person or it was vice versa or it was mutual, but it was something where it just wasn't real. You know, the feelings felt good. Um, it feels like we're moving towards something. It looks like it, but it's not real. There's still an aspect that it's just not being real. This is not a real relationship. Some aspect where it just wasn't, you didn't have the full manifestation or the title or something like that. So um, that was what was going on in the past. Maybe somebody kept the whole relationship foo foo frilly. You know, it was just, you know, kind of la la la. It was up in the air. It wasn't, you know, um, if you were walking down the street with this person and you bumped into an old friend, it would feel awkward introducing them as your boyfriend or vice versa, as your girlfriend. Because there was still an aspect about it where maybe you were doing boyfriend and girlfriend things, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't real. Um, this could be blended family also, or this could be living apart. And, um, <laughs> let's see. Something about it, you just don't feel like, you know, um, in the past, this is how you felt. Let's see. What else was going on in the, in the past? For love, in love for Aquarius. What else was going on in the past? For love, for Aquarius. Okay. Um. 
Alright, so this could have been an element of taking a break with the Hermit card. Um, I don't know, with this lack of progression of the relationship moving towards anything, maybe you decided you changed your mind, you changed your personal philosophy about relationship. Maybe there was a change in personality. You took a break from this. You started to go on this, you know, discovery, this self-discovery journey. You know, uh, more so trying to just look at past experience and see where you went wrong or what you need to do. Or it's just like you're trying to gain some knowledge of maybe even looking for validation outside of yourself, but you already knew the answer that maybe this was a false, fake relationship. It feels good, but there's no element about it that's really real. This person hasn't really invited me to their family or maybe not even around their friends or I met some friends or it just really, it was real surface based. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't beneath the surface here. Yeah, in the past, justice card, maybe um, there was a decision that needed to be made. You know, you had to make the right decision. Um, you had to find balance in this. Maybe there was even some unfair treatment if someone ghosted the situation, if someone left. Um, with the justice card, this could have been a karmic connection. You had something to learn. There was some element. Uh, this other person had something to learn. You, in this person, you saw something in you, and they saw something. You saw something in them, and they saw something in you. And you both, that was the attracting um, element that held you two together. But it, maybe it was just... Um, unresolved issues within yourself um, so maybe there was some karma to work off of, to work off the ace of cups this relationship might have driven you to self-love and spirituality and pouring more love back into yourself uh, transforming from the inside out internally something about this relationship it just didn't feel right because the justice card says the right decision do the right thing This person may have always come back to you or you felt like you couldn't let them go because they were indebted to you somehow. It could be that they owe you money or that they, you know, they uh, needed to work off something with you. Maybe you gave a lot and uh, they needed to kind of, you know, make amends. With the in and out in the relationship, it never felt like the door was closed. It always felt like it was open or it was always open and it was like this person always, you know, cycling back in or you cycling back into their life. So it always felt like the, the, the debt wasn't repaid, not just yet. There's still uh, a decision to be made. There's still some deciding factor. There's still a conversation. There's still opportunity for um, us to get back together, uh, for, for us to cooperate with one another, but who knows for how long. So it was like, this was a big cycle. Like it was just, it just kept going in a circle in nowhere, a circle to nowhere. Let's see where you are currently in terms of love, Aquarius. Where is the Aquarius currently in love? Let's see. Where is the Aquarius currently? Let's see. Can you tell Aquarius where are they presently? Where is Aquarius presently in love? All right, these cards. Okay, Queen of Swords. Yeah, that's you. Um, so you're at a place of look. You know, her back is turned to the past. To these cards. I don't know if you can see it on your side. It looks like yeah, her back is turned to the past here. Um, maybe you cut this off. You cut it out. You you, you made the executive decision. Okay, I'm gonna make the, the the decision that is best for everybody involved. It is for us to part ways. This is going nowhere fast. We're going in a circle. I don't know. With the Queen of Swords, she is all about what makes sense also um with this relationship moving into a place of maybe spirituality and learning about yourself and maybe healing some parts of yourself because in them you saw you a bit of you or why you would even attract this person and in you that person saw a bit of them also so it was like you know maybe again a karmic situation here where you both needed to kind of you know um mirror you both were mirroring each other in some aspect and uh, needed to kind of hone in on uh you and what was wrong with you um so that you can move forward and it looks like currently you are the queen of swords you're just at a place of healing making sense of things understanding that look if i want to have something new better i can't take this crap with me i can't take this relationship with me this person will the best they will do is hold me back the best they have done is hold me back and maybe i have even held them back you know what we'll call it mutual um so the queen of swords is just more so rational logical um, making that executive decision to cut off two severed ties with the past because you know in order to have newness you can't take it with you you can't take the past with you you may have even gotten some spiritual guidance or guidance about cutting off this loved one you just want to make sure um this again this situation uh may have moved you to some element of spirituality and trying to figure out yourself and then figure out why you even attracted this energy because that's what the queen of swords says through life's trials test it pushes you to um that other realm of life that spiritual realm um the intellect and then the spiritual realm meeting together so and then you can make sense of the 3D, right? So uh, that's where you are. You're just trying to figure out, like, why do I even meet this person? What is all this about? There's some things about me that maybe I need to fix when I'm in relationships. Maybe I need to learn how to communicate. Maybe I need to learn how to communicate less. Maybe I need to learn exactly how to communicate. Maybe I scream. Maybe I shout. Maybe I walk away. Maybe I ghost. I don't know. So, you know, that's where you are, Aquarius, right now, the Queen of Swords. So you, you just get it. You know, it's all making sense to you. Um, let's see. Where else is the Queen of Swords? Okay. Uh, the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles. So the two fours showing up here. So you have come to some level of stability within yourself. 
uh, in ter- this is feminine energy, even though the emperor is a man, the fours talk about feminine energy, whole roots, um, talks about self too. So it's like maybe you have, you have um, really understood some, uh, some rigidity, some, yes, the rigidity in the, I don't know, the, just being unmovable and maybe even kind of stubborn or stoic in relationships. Maybe you've even come to terms with realizing that maybe your heart, your heart chakra is blocked. You're blocking it, or you're blocking what you really say you want. You want a husband, you want a provider, you want, you know, a guy in, in this life. Um, but you're still holding on to some deep-seated issues of maybe a past husband or husband-like figure, baby daddy, whatever the situation may be. This person hurt you in the past, so this relationship right here, this person was kind of paying for it. Whether it was consciously you were making them pay for it, it was subconsciously. There were still some things that you needed to kind of release and relinquish. You were holding on to them. You were possessive over them. There are some deep-seated issues. Um that you had to really let go of and that's where you are currently maybe you're some deep-seated issues when it comes to opposite sex if that is your um sexual orientation or deep-seated issues when it comes to just relationships romantic relationships in general like learning how to let go don't carry with you um the past and the issues of the past childhood issues abandonment fear uh scarcity making decisions from fear and scarcity uh, if i don't have this person then i don't have this or if I'm, if I'm not so strong and domineering, and um, then I, I won't keep my relationship or I can't keep control. This is also control issues. Some of you are realizing that maybe you like to have it your way and it's your way or the highway. You put it very nicely or it's nice, nasty, or it's soft control for some of you, but it is still control. And it could be adverse. Maybe you dealt with a controlling spouse in the past. Therefore, you've got still issues and triggers when it comes to that. Therefore, you kind of didn't... You know, this this relationship was a, a trial run, a test run for you to get all of that out of the way so the universe can really bring you your person. Where is Aquarius? And also right now, you're just at a place of, you're going it alone right now. For some of you, you know, you might have somebody who's interested in you, but you are not really pursuing that. You also could be just really unpack, unpacking the toxicity and the stagnation that maybe some past masculine energy had you in. Like they had you in this relationship and you just, there was no growth in the relationship and there was no growth within you. They kind of stagnate, stagnated you. Um, they kept you as a possession. There was other people. There's a layered connection. There were other individuals in, in the relationship, whether you knew about them or you, you found out about them or something like that. All right, so currently you are Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So you're coming to a place of real fast movement, being more rational um, in your choices, okay? Making sure that, make, that things make sense because the King of Pentacles is mathematical, okay? Um, he's firm. He's, uh, it takes some time to get to the King of Pentacles. Um, this is, some of you could just be concerned about maybe, um, right now, uh, career move, work, money, um, building up your, uh, finances with the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm getting there. You're more so concerned. So a lot of you operating in your masculine energy, a lot of, um, crown chakra energy, a lot of thinking. Whenever we're doing thinking, a lot of thinking, I'm trying to bring things into fruition and institution. That is masculine energy. Don't argue with me. It just is. Um, so a lot of you are operating in your masculine energy and you're trying to, you know, think of, um, this can even be retirement. This can even be um, coming to a place of settling down, of slowing down or how you can slow down or settle down. Make some career change that brings you um, abundance. Um, so that's an overflow of. Yeah, so some of you have really shifted the focus here and it's off love and it could be on career finance uh, what you do in the world the mark that you're making this could even be exiting the workforce going into retirement or part-time work or whatever it looks like for you let's see where aquarius is in the near future in love so it looks like currently you aren't concerned about love but maybe that's when it really shows up for you listen nine of cups very nice so so the nine of cups can be interpreted so many different ways of course we know that the nines are singular energy so you could be single in the near future uh, with the nine of cups there but you could also have found emotional stability happiness in your singlehood and you're just being single being free look at this person um just being happy i'm um, happy with you uh, happy with life's little luxuries maybe you take yourself on trips or you pamper yourself or you drink fancy wine or you whatever it is you do you just are happy in that energy here if you do have a connection with someone it is carefree no strings attached it could be all about the the emotional exertion so it could be about sex it could just be about when i'm around this person we have a really good time it's you know and nothing more nothing less and that could be the near future for you let's see What's in your future uh, in love for Aquarius? Two 
two of pentacles yeah so maybe a decision to be in a relationship is up in the air you're doing a lot with the two of pentacles oh my gosh you're juggling so much you're keeping it all up in the air it says in the two of pentacles if you do it right if you maintain it if you put your work ethic is strong it will show up in the four of pentacles where you have created stability and hopefully you'll have that ten of pentacles so um right now in the near future you're kind of I know you could be toying with the idea of getting in a relationship and then for some of you, you have so much going on around you outside of love and relationship. Therefore, it is not your main focus. Um, yeah, you're just trying to keep things up in terms of uh, money, income, day to day. With the two of pentacles, your priorities, what you deem is valuable and it might not be love. Let's see what is happening in the near yeah, Nine of wands, yeah, another singular energy. So you could be on the fence about maybe being in a relationship. Um, you can have the opportunity, but maybe you take a step back to evaluate if you want to be in a committed, long-term relationship. This could also be somebody watching you from afar, a secret admirer. Um, this could even show up as a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend. But there's a lack of intimacy here, vulnerability, openness. It's still maybe like, you live in your home, I live in my home, and we come together when we come together. Um, that could be that energy with the nine of wands here. Um, also, for some of you, you're going to be still looking at the past. Therefore, there is no living in the present, and you damn sure aren't thinking about the future because you're still looking at the past and wondering should you give the past another chance and that will that's how some of you will be in the near future once again we talked about back here the door not always being closed or not being closed at all and maybe that's why you guys cycle back to one another you cycled back to one another all right these wanted to pop out the strength card and the seven of wands so in the near future there's going to be a need for release and compassion you also may be just keeping some relationship kind of sex only. It's still like a real air of mystery surrounding the other person, surrounding you, maybe even your money. Like you're keeping everybody out of your business, you know, out of the business of you. You, you deal with people how you want to deal with them. You have set firm boundaries. You know, seven of Wands. It looks like you may have a lot of people after you or coming after you or vying for your attention or your affection. You have something that people want. You've had your day in, this, in the your day of glory, especially. We don't see the Six of Wands out here, but for the Seven of Wands to show up, people see you prosperous, promoted, um, progressive, and they want a time with you get, be proactive in setting those boundaries so make sure you set them now and make sure you're firm on them don't go back on them says the seven of wands fight for what you have for what you have created for what you already have in uh institution in fruition what has come for you uh, you might have to set boundaries uh, looks like for some of you it's an energy of other people's money i don't know if you get a large sum of money you get something that is attractive to people also you, you're learning in the near future when to be the lion and when to be the lamb the lion and the lamb, we all have it within us. We, you know, we can be ferocious, we can be very soft. So you're learning to, you're learning composure, uh, compassion, uh, to hold that um, in certain instances, in certain situations. It's not always a turn up, a turn out, turn the tables over, like in Jesus or somebody type of situation. It's just, you have to learn when. Um, like somebody could be trying to test your patience or test your tolerance. Um, that's why I tell you to be proactive in, in learning that now. People will try to push your buttons because they see you at a place of peace and resolve, so they're trying to take you back. Um, let's pull some kipper. We had 27 minutes. Oh my god. All right, let's see. For the near future, in love, where is a so I don't see um like uh, a forever person right now. Not to say that it, it can't come into you. I just see some of you are very more so focused on you, your business, the business of you, um, your finances, maybe getting something uh, financed, and you're just not the focus of love is just not here yet for you. You know, you just can't. You can't do both uh, greatly. One is going to fail. In the near future, yeah, the love, as I said it, so it's going to be like a, you know, a lover's type situation where you like being around this person. The sex could be good. It's fun. It's companionship. It's getting to know one another. It's a good choice right now for you. It's not too serious. Nor is it like you're going to just be out here swinging from chandeliers with people, but, you know, it's just more so, it's good for now. Uh, in the near future, near future for love. All right, these two came out. Yeah. So we got mature woman and we got male female. So this could be same sex. If it is not, it's just like more so some of you are a mature woman. You have come to a determination that you really don't need to be married again or you don't want to be married or you don't want the title just yet. You're okay where you are. Um, you are not even making a big funk or a big stink if your person is dating someone else or spending their time somewhere else, maybe with another lover um, because you are extremely busy with your own life. Let's see what else is coming to you in the near future. Uh, yeah, mature man. So there is a relationship. We see that. But then there is... Um, that main female sitting between you, that could be an archetype also. It's like, the, yeah, it, we have a relationship. I still want to maintain, you know, my independence. I want to be the number two in your life. I don't want to be the number one because I can't make you number one is what somebody is saying here. It could be you, Aquarius, or the other person. It could be that somebody is already married or coupled and maybe you're the side person. You're okay with that. Yep, somebody's already married. There's a side person. There's an element of someone being false or um, masquerading around or hiding. Um, 
uh, cheating someone also could like the same sex so you could be in a relationship with someone um, and they have this girlfriend or this guy friend who is same sex and but there is a romantic connection there and they could be keeping that from you right let's see what else does aquarius need to know about love we'll pull some soulmate cards what does aquarius need to know about love let's see what does soulmate cards what does Aquarius need to know about the past? Past energy for love. Past energy. Past energy. Okay, everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. Maybe you were looking for validation, like I said, from this relationship or this situationship. Um, everything that you needed was within you. Um, maybe some of you were looking for this person to be like a high-level soulmate, twin flame, or you thought that like, this person kind of um, completed you, but the cards are saying otherwise. Let's see what the energy is for Aquarius currently. Presently, what's the energy, the soulmate energy for Aquarius? Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. All right, so, um, you may have cut someone off here. It looks like a masculine energy. You have your reasons. For them to say that this was uh, a permanent decision on temporary feelings, maybe you don't feel that way. Maybe you're going back. Because we did see in the near future someone looking in the past. So maybe you really want this person or you really wanted this person. But it just was no growth and it was stuck and stagnant. What was this about? Yeah, and where does the power come from? It comes from within. Maybe you had given too much energy, too much power away in this connection. Therefore, you had to walk away. You know, just out of self-respect, you know. You couldn't just keep being disregarded and disrespected with the Queen of Swords here. So maybe this was a test of a person's will or what they will do or if they will run after you. For some of you, for some of you, you made a real cut a real severing because you understand that like you know what this person has to offer you and it's not going to be anything of longevity or it's not anything that you want for your your life moving forward let's see what the message is for love for aquarius in the near future yep don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you so for some of you who are still looking backwards don't be afraid to let that go okay don't be in, in, in the near future this also could be interpreted and some of you are going to engage with maybe a person from the past be their lover you might be the number the side you know the second woman in their life um and that's what rests between you also for some of you this person won't put you first because they put work first or they put something else first or maybe another person first yep so the cards are saying don't be afraid to lose that person because they aren't willing to give you what you say you really want they, they just aren't they're committed to not giving you what you say you really want so if somebody's committed to something good luck yeah love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you so for some of you you're going to circle back to the past and that's okay uh, look, the twin flame card is coming up in reverse. This is not your twin flame. This is somebody you need to learn a lesson with and move on for some of you. Get your own personal reading to figure out this energy. Let's see what you should be focused on moving forward, Aquarius. Just love yourself um, more. Um, no, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you, okay? You can't just keep giving away love, giving away love, and expecting it back in return. Let people earn your love. Let people earn your devotion, okay? And, and how they earn it is over time. Only time will tell, okay? So don't be so giving so quickly. Let's see. What should Aquarius be focused on? All right, moving forward. You're stronger than you know. And the cards are saying this because for some of you, you're going to go back to... Can you read that? You're going to go back to a situation where you know it's just not best for you, okay? Um, that there's nothing there. And that's okay. You go back to it, you know? Um, yeah, you got to have the courage. The courage to just walk away, Aquarius, because this is... It's too much. It's cyclical. I think this person baits you in and makes you feel like you can have everything with them, but they're really offering a whole lot of nothing. But it's nothing wrapped in a really nice, cute bow. Yeah, some, like I said, some of you are getting money, like a windfall. Like I said, something about money and then people wanting to resurface or they want your time now. It's, it's like a big windfall of good luck or money or energy coming to you. Dietary change. Okay, so some of you need to be focused on changing your diet, what you intake. Also, it affects your emotions and your thought process. Maybe some of you need to explore veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism. Or maybe you just need to put yourself on a, um, you know, uh, a day-to-day -day diet or a you know, every other day, maybe every other day I'll have meat or I won't eat, I don't know, whatever, it works for you, but there's something in your diet that needs to change, Aquarius. Some of you, like I said, are focused on retirement, going from one career to the next, or coming out of full-time work, going into part-time work, or some of you just trying to focus on retirement and, and find out what that looks like, and do you have enough money, a nest egg saved up, so some of you just really focused on money, we saw that currently, we saw you focused on you, um, and then in the near future, we saw maybe, um, a carefree connection coming into you, so very good, Aquarius. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Get your own deep dive reading just like this one over at the website. Um, I think yeah, I think I will put the deep dive reading. I'll put it up where it will say deep dive. So you'll know this is the format. We'll go from past, present, and then future. Um, what else? Take advantage of this new moon energy. I feel like it's going to be something big. You know, it, it could just be for me. 
But I feel like, you know, it can be accepted for all Aquarians. Take advantage of this energy. Um, contribute to the new moon jar or not. Do your own new moon uh, ritual. Um, get, get personal reading. Go over to the website. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come for the collective reading, and then you can ask questions. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.